Greetings to all of you. I'm sorry I couldn't be there in person to congratulate Professor Patricia Wright on receiving this distinguished honor from Stony Brook University. Professor Wright has dedicated three decades of her life to preserving the legacy of Madagascar. Pat's story took me on an inspirational journey that will remain with me forever, truly. Pat Wright belongs in the movies. She's an explorer, she's an adventurer, she's a scientist, she's a teacher, she's a humanitarian. She's a, a real hero. If you look at what she's accomplished in her life, going into the jungle as a single mom, essentially, uh, on her own, and then staking her career on a long shot, making a decision to try and find a lemur that was supposed to be extinct in Madagascar. Really, she's fearless. She found the greater bamboo lemur, which everyone thought had been extinct for 50 years. She discovered the golden bamboo lemur, which nobody had ever even seen before. Once she became one of the leading primatologists in the world, she's taken it even further. And she's made a decision to try and change and improve a country. When you drive around Madagascar, you see the land burning everywhere you go. People are burning down the forest for farmland. It's a type of slash and burn agriculture called Tavi, and it's the biggest threat to lemurs in Madagascar. The lemurs of Madagascar are amongst the most uh, imperiled species in the world. Um, there used to be 152 species of them, uh, and now sadly there's only about 101, 102. Pat has spent a lot of time teaching people that they can make a better living through ecotourism and by protecting the forest. She's really had a profound effect on Madagascar in terms of basically single-handedly creating a national park out of a rainforest that otherwise would have vanished from the, from the earth. It's now a World Heritage Site. It's a very special place and it's really there because of Pat. She built the center of El Bayo, this like astounding science center in the middle of the rainforest. And she's inspired this whole legions of Malagasy students to become primatologists and protect lemurs. And now you can do cutting edge science in the middle of the rainforest. It's just unbelievable, you know, that you, you're in the middle of nowhere in an incredibly pristine environment uh, right next to the national park. And there are real facilities for real science. Those two things that universities do, they, they create knowledge and they transmit knowledge, and Dr. Wright has been superb uh, at both of those enterprises. Pat he was a social worker before she became a scientist, and the whole focus of the way she approaches science is to bring people along. For her, conservation isn't just about animals, it's about all the people that live around the animals, and it's about making everybody's life better. Global Health Institute, GHI, is going to bring together the research that's being done at Central Val Bio with the work that's being done by Pivot, providing state-of-the-art health care to that region of Madagascar. Dr. Wright has inspired a whole new way of life for the people of Madagascar. In fact, I, th I think her work inspired people all over the world. Have I met her? Well, no, uh, my friends have met her, and they love her, say she's awesome, a real hero. Mm. Pat's work in Madagascar is critically important to the future of life on Earth. That's why we had to make a movie about her. Did you see that picture of her? Woohoo! <gasps>